If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already, and with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number four of the FM stream series. Of course, this is the fourth and final episode of my first stream, although I have streamed a, uh, a resulting two more times since I re recorded this first one, so there's still plenty of content still to come. If you missed any of the previous episodes, then there will be a link in the bottom left-hand side to the most recent one, or of course, check the channel page or playlist for uh, all four. And uh, of course, I'm recording this before the first one is, or just after, sorry, the first one has gone up and it's gone down very well well indeed so hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy the rest of the series and i will leave you where we left off good well the players now seem to be on board which is a good thing so we'll have a look, quick look at the team report just to see who are our best players in each position Mateusz total appears to be the better goalkeeper the uh, the 19 year old polish guy he has played 11 games so far this season and conceded 15 goals and what about Mark Tyler because he's a decent goalkeeper he's played seven conceded 12 so I, I'm pretty sure we're going to go with uh, Mateusz Taudel uh, we've got a decent right back although not too much backup Ryan Innes appears to be a decent centre back we've got a few decent centre backs Luke Wilkinson, Ryan Innes and Dominic Yorfer who is a 19 oh, he's on loan from Wolves this guy decent pace decent strength good determination can only play centre back despite having crossing of and dribbling of eleven and twelve. Twelve tackling, ten marking, nine heading, which isn't the best for a centre back, but seems to be okay. Uh, do I think FM15 could run on a normal Acer laptop? It should be able to. You don't need to have that that faster, powerful a PC or laptop to be able to run FM. In previous years, I've run FM. Like, this is the first year I've actually run Football Manager on a PC in the past, say, eight years. I've always, always run it on a laptop. So it could definitely, definitely um, be able to uh, to sign someone, sign someone. I'm getting mixed up with what I'm reading in the chat. You should definitely be able to uh, to use it on a laptop. Uh, Scott Griffiths is our best left back. And then we don't really have any other backup at left back. So I would maybe like to bring someone in there. Um, let's have a look. We do have a transfer budget, you are correct. We are still in November though, so we could at least get a good gauging of the squad or where the squad is before uh, making a change. Paul Connolly appears to be the best right back and I would agree with that. Tackling of 15 is very good and a marking of 11, heading of 12. He can play a centre-back, although how tall is he? He is 6 foot, he could play a centre-back. Decent acceleration, decent pile, 10 average, but Alex Lawless is a decent player. Good centre mid. I presume he's going to be in here as centre mids. Andy Drury, Nathan Doyle. Nathan Doyle, he used to be at Bradford, didn't he? He did. That's a good signing for Luton, actually. Nathan Doyle is a very good player. And Andy Drury is obviously the uh, the mate of him. Look at those stats, man. That's very good for a League 2 player. And he's been at Luton for a while, hasn't he? No. Oh, he was at Luton previously. That's where I remember him from. I didn't realise he'd gone up to Ipswich. So he's been playing at a much higher level. I presume his wages are quite high, but I didn't actually check. Paul Benson... Is the main striker. I'm probably going to be um, playing on a 4-4-2 initially at this lower league level. Paul Benson, wasn't he at Mansfield? No. I'm having all sorts of flashbacks, all sorts of flashbacks. Mark Cullen, I think I may have signed Paul Benson at Mansfield in a previous year. Um, Mark Cullen, decent pace. Decent pace, only two substitute appearances, so we could probably do with another striker. On loan from Reading, two goals in three games is very good. Liam Kelly, very good. You can play at Cam as well. What about wide players? Because see, I'm like I say, I'm thinking of playing uh, a four-four-two. Uh, Andy Drury has not really got the pace to play out wide, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, Alex Lawless could play out wide, although again, not really got much pace. So we could do with wingers. Jake Howells, that's more like it. Jake Howells can play out wide. Sidney Schmeltz, he could play wide right perhaps. There is a distinct lack of wide players apparently and strikers. And def good defenders as well by the looks of things. So uh, and Andy Jury is the best player obviously, that's pretty obvious.
Uh, what rating is the highest? Players don't actually have overall ratings in Football Manager. Uh, meet the staff. We will quickly meet the staff just to see what they have to say. It's not too many. Terminate contract. Please, Danny Fitzsimmons would be interested in mutually. Centre back, 22 years of age. He's in the under 21s. It could £700 a week could be decent to. Uh, uh, set to not needed. I will have a look at the U squad. Uh, we'll just go to the next for now. Uh, Andy Jury should be taking free kicks. I'll go through that. Corner penalty, that sort of thing. Right. Uh, youth players, because the board do want us to uh, to bring up youth players if we possibly can. So we'll have a look at the youth prospects. Paul Driver, Liam Gooch, lol, nice name, bro. Best prospect in the under-18s. He's a goalkeeper. Okay, well, we do have two goalkeepers already, so that's not a problem. Where do you play? Wide right midfield. Okay, passing, decent pace, not too much strength though. Only five foot nine, although he's eleven stone, so it's quite, quite a decent stack of weight for uh, someone who's five foot nine. Eleven dribbling, eleven first touch. Could actually bring him up potentially, and uh, Craig as well. Geo Craig, a striker. Although, uh, could maybe I might send him out on loan, and then the youngsters, and and more under eighteens. Uh, defender centre, not really too keen on him. Musonda, decent pace and strength. Stamina of two. Well, he's not going to last too long, is he? He's not going to last too long. And uh, Craig, oh, we've just looked at him, haven't we, from the other ones. Geo Craig, again, could send him out on loan. Right then, well, let's have a look at the squad. Uh, I always sort by position. We've got a few ineligible players. Well, what's the next game? Why are you ineligible? Loan contract expires. Oh. Ah. Well, that could be an issue then. If people's contracts are expiring, why? You shouldn't be ineligible, Ryan. His contract doesn't expire until 11th of January. Why is he... Oh, not allowed to play. It's a cup game. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I'm glad it's, I've seen that now. All right, so we'll have a quick look at the... Uh, Under-21s. How do I do that? Oh, Under-21s. And under 18s. Okay. Because we said we wanted potentially strikers, didn't we? Who's been scoring goals in the under 18s? Ricky Miller's been scoring goals fast. Not the best finishing. He's been, if he's been scoring goals in the under 21s, and he scored 24 goals for Boston last year, although at a lower league level, if he's banging the goals in at under 21 levels, then surely he's worth having a crack in the first team. Lafayette is a player that could definitely do the job in the first team as well. So both Lafayette squad moved to senior squad and was it Ricky Miller? It was, wasn't it, Ricky Miller? Yes. And uh, Alex Wall. Uh, do players get worse as they grow older? They do tend to. They do tend to drop a little bit as they get older. Uh, it's just a case of evaluating the squad right now. Decent pace, not very good finishing. So we'll leave him there, but Ricky Miller I am definitely keen on taking up. Now we were quite short on defenders, weren't we? Uh, Fraser Franks. It's a case of just gauging what you've got at the club when you first sign, isn't it? And then uh, and then being able to figure it out. The highest stat rating. Uh, these stats, I have it set at the minute, so the highest rating you can get to is 20 in the stats. You can set it so it's similar to FIFA, but... Uh, so, you know, so it goes up to 99. But I prefer for FM to have things up to 20. It's more, it's easier to um, to gauge me. It's just what I'm used to. So we could change it, but I'll leave it for now. We dropped 50 viewers, which uh, sucks, but never mind. I guess it is getting a little bit late. Steve McNulty is in the under-21s, but he was out injured for a while, wasn't he? With knee tendonitis, jeeps. He's rock solid, Steve McNulty, but uh, I'm not sure. He's out on loan. Uh, on Yama, no. Michael Purcell, decent pace, decent dribbling, but again, I'm not sure. He has done, played in the in the league a little bit for us. A few injuries here. Jim Stevenson, again, not really too keen. We may look to move quite a few people out in January so that we can um so that we can bring some new players in. Jonathan Smith 
Really too keen on many of these guys. Charlie Walker, no. So a lot of these guys can either go out on loan or get sold. Danny Fitzsimmons was a the guy they recommended me to end his contract, didn't they? Simon is injured. Brett Longenden. Hmm. Quick look in the under 18s because Geo Craig intrigues me. Is he loan listed? Yeah, all of the all, almost all of the youngsters are loan listed, which is good. Daryl. I'm not really too sure how to pronounce that. Nuagala. Nuagala. Been scoring goals. 11 finishing. Decent pace. And he's got stamina of 5 and strength of 7. He's 6 foot 1, though. So he's heading like 11. 8 goals. There's no harm in trying these people out, is there? There's no harm. Um, Harry Templin. I, one would presume that the kids here... You know, there is a one way to kind of tell who's good and who isn't is to see what they're on contract wise and it's only I oh no Leroy Magarash who's on a decent contract again not that good when it comes to uh, to stat wise so I'll just have a quick look here and sort by contracts just the way I've always done things you can see the high earners are going to be the ones that you presume would be the better players so Stephen Olty is our club captain so we, we definitely won't move him on but Jonathan Smith Again, I'm not really too sure about someone like him. He's played for the first team four times. And Jim Stevenson, no. Sean Wally is the other guy. He's currently on loan at Dartford. Yeah, again, his stats don't look too uh, intriguing, do they? Uh, hello, Haywood. Please don't spam the chat, though, please, bro. Uh, £800, David Martin. So he's on loan at Bristol Rovers in the in the conference and he would actually be very good he's out for 11 days to 3 weeks someone like that I could bring back in couldn't I we could look at the loan player so no he's not really of any interest Sean Wally's not any interest Matt Robinson not really David Martin though he's a player that I could that surely he'd be worth a shout can I recall him He's currently out on loan. I presume I can recall someone, unless it's into their uh, into their contract. Interaction. Talk to player on loan. Form development. No. You'll have to let me know. Can I recall someone that's on loan? I presume I can. But I, I guess it depends what's in his contract. Uh, it expires on the 1st of June, so we all get him back. Uh, loan options. None. Can play against own team. Can play in cup matches. So there is no recall clause on there, is there? So unfortunately, I won't be able to bring him back. But we'll have a look at Ian Reese because I didn't glance at him. Although again, a bit of an, an average youngster, and Lee Angol, bit of pace, but an okay finishing, but mm, just doesn't doesn't jump out at me. So when's the next game? In four days' time. Uh, so everything's just kind of prioritised on the left-hand side there now, which is good. Uh, skip tactics creator. So I do want to play a 4-4-2. I said I wanted to play a 4-4-2, didn't I? So That's the thing. The question is... Tactics. That mentality. Well, the board want us to play quite defensive, don't they? We could play on the counter. Can I, cre can I just create a new one? That's right. Oh yeah, create new tactic. There we go. Set formation. So we'll go for four four two, just a flat four four two to start off with. And then we can alter this one. No, we'll stick with that one. Then we can alter this one. I see how it works now. Um, we'll stick this to a, a four two three one defensive. Hmm. I only want really want one defensive mid in that situation really. Four, one, two, three. That's a nice formation. I do like that one, so we'll stick that there. But for now, maybe four, two, three, one, narrow or wide, or four, four, one, one. We could use wing backs, but I'm not really too sure. I've never really used wing backs on FM before. Four, two, three, one, wide. It's obviously a formation that you guys know that I like, so we'll have that in there as well. But we'll just quickly... 4-4-2 counter. 
uh, quite structured and I'm not really too sure we need many instructions straight off you could say shorter passing and pass to feet, where's that? shape, no we got shorter passing, retain possession, because I said I want to play possession football didn't I? that is the way I like to play Maybe pass defeat is one of the things that you sh you can shout at people once the game is underway. Uh, play narrow, play wider, no. Close down more, close down less. No, it seems to be okay. I believe everything else is default, just to gauge where the team is at. We need to see them play first, don't we? We need to see them play first. 4-2-3-1... Uh, wide, this one mentality I see ca counter doesn't really match up with my things does it so we'll go for control for 442 and then 4231 wide we can counter with that but I am going to move these guys down here so we have it set out like that. So we've got two holding mids, then it's kind of just the four guys up top, isn't it? And then we can counter with these guys. Team shape structured again. Instructions, um, perhaps pass into space, and more direct passing, because then the, the four guys up top can be further up the up the pits, can't they? Lol, cheese noid. Don't be offending people though, especially if you're going to use a username that's similar to mine. Uh, I don't really want to exploit anywhere for now. Like I say, we need to see where, where people, or how people play. So for now, we will leave that. Well, for 442, and then, can I move these around? We can. So we've got 442 and the 4231. They'll be our two main formations. And other than that, we've got more coming in four days' time. So we will continue. I think it's 25 past 10 already, so I think we'll play the first game against Morecambe and then I'll end the stream, if that's alright with you guys. And then we'll come back tomorrow and... Uh, oh, it's saving as well, that's handy timing. Then we'll come back tomorrow and uh, try and tackle our first job here at Luton then. That's alright with you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream. I've, it's actually been really fun doing uh, Football Manager. Especially, you know, getting the job. I may, when this goes up on YouTube, edit out, out a lot of the... Um... Oh, don't I put Franks on loan. Franks, wasn't he injured? No. He's in my under-21s. Uh, tackling of 12, heading of 12. Strength of 13. Now he's quite strong and he's got a jumping of 14 as well. So £900 a week, though. Hmm. He's played six games in the first team as well. Fraser Franks. Well, I don't really want to commit to letting anyone go until I've seen people play, you know what I mean? So we'll reject the offer from Dartford for now. Or we'll just reject straight up. I don't want to give them a reason. Reading of sacked Atkins. Uh, as things stand, no clubs consider a deal for Jonathan Smith viable. Okay, well I didn't want him either, but I don't like the look of him really. Macclesfield aren't prepared to make an offer with the pricing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Daphne's suggest scouting the FA Cup. No harm in that. Uh, offers Granger. Goalkeeper. No, we've got plenty of goalkeepers at the club, thank you. Uh, Barn will have accepted... Uh, no, oh, I've got to meet the media. I've got to meet the media. Let's meet the media. Uh, do you feel that your ambitions are for the club are matched by the chairman? I do, yes. Our discussions are often creative. Uh, do you feel the expectations asked of you this season have been fair and realistic? I'm very happy with the direction we're going in. Everyone at the club wants to be the very best they can, nobody more so than me, which is good. Uh, it's been reported that you actually applied for this job and sought it out. What stood out about Luton? Um, I think there's a massive club with any and any manager with ambition and confidence in their ability would love to be in charge here. I think it's a great club to build a big future for, and yes, 
definitely uh, Luton, definitely a, a side that you can build uh, long term for. Um, well, some managers are famous for their hands-on approach. Other others maintain a more reserved manner with their players. Yeah, I always have my door open. Players, I like it when players come to talk to me. It's not good if they kind of they have a problem, but they don't come and talk to you, and it might affect their performances on the pitch. Luton clearly have lofty ambitions in hiring you. Is said to be the latest step in meeting them. Are you the right person to deliver? Uh, assertive. I'm honoured to be to have been asked to guide this great club forward and their goals and firmly hope we can experience really glad to uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm confident my managerial skills where did it go wrong for your predecessor uh, yeah I'm not going to disrespect previous manager by talking about him in the media it's just a bit unfair isn't it so gaming forward with happy with forward thinking club makes sense uh, under 21 proposal that should be dealt with by the assistant uh, Atkinson is available for professional contract I'm afraid sir you're not going to get one just yet oh, and I should have checked match preparation really shouldn't I but the, uh, the assistant is going to do that for me isn't it Familiarity. They're quite familiar with the four four two already, or at least more so than uh, the four two three one, which is my other preferred uh, thing. I don't really need to set any things with that. Uh, financial fair play. Club secretary is provided with a summary of financial fair play. If the season club cannot exceed fifty thousand, well, that's fine. It's only about forty now, isn't it? Oh, the club's current player wage bill total calculation for the regulations is thirty two thousand. That's fine. We're well under well under for that so that's not a problem and Munster have hired a manager okay well how long is it now only two days until the Morecambe game uh, England Stars acts that's fine In make our managerial debut soon as you can see they want Michael Purcell on loan wasn't he a player that I thought could do a job in the first team well I'm not sure I'm not sure like I say I'm not going to let anyone go out yet until I've seen them play so, decent turnout expected for walking around. 3,000 tickets. Oh, it's FA Cup, first round. Jeeps, no pressure then. Okay, it's another side in our league. Would have been nice to have played a side that were uh, non-league. Uh, and Babu... Oh, no, he was one of my better centre-backs, wasn't he? Shite. Can I get him back on loan? Transfer. Uh, transfer offer. Because he's familiar with the club, isn't he? So... Uh, loan offer, monthly fee, no duration. I can't do end of season, so we'll do three months. Future fee, no. Squad status, first team, uh, preferred position. Player can be recalled, yes. Uh, wages, none percent. I can afford to pay wages. Do you see who they want? Uh, little will pay nothing. What do they want? Shouldn't, uh, wouldn't require any. That's good, so we can just bring him in. If he's already been playing well at the club, then you know I want to keep this this group together, so that you know they can play better for us when we get into the league situation. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's advance in, and uh, we will play this game against Morecambe, and then that will be the uh, the end of the stream after this game. But uh, yeah, we'll play this game against Morecambe though. Uh, available first team members. Uh, no, not selected. That's fine. This is it then. This is going to be our first game as manager against Morecambe. I'm not sure how they're getting on in League Two. We will check because in real life they started the season on fire. Where are we? Luton there. Morecambe. Where are they in the league? 15th. They're not having the best of seasons, but neither are we. So inbox. And they've accepted the loan offer. That's fantastic. So he's going to come back and we will advance. Oh, look then. Last known lineup was a 4 4 3 3 effectively. Oh, four one two three wide, yeah. So four three three, isn't it? Have we got any recommended tactics to play against them? No previous meetings. Referee seems to be quite card happy when it comes to yellows, but how did they get on in their previous game? Oh, 
last match. They lost 2-1 away at Accrington. So they're not necessarily in great form right now, are they? Right, so... Right. Yeah. He was supposedly our best goalkeeper, and he was in better form, wasn't he? So, right back. Paul Connolly appears to be the right, the best right back, and I'd rather play Nathan Doyle in midfield, to be completely honest. So we'll put Paul Connolly at right back. Centre-backs. Two ineligible for the cut, which isn't a problem. Uh, Luke Wilkinson can go centre-back. Seems to be decent enough. And then... Andy Parry? Yeah, because I want to play Nathan Doyle. I want to play Nathan Doyle in midfield. And he seems OK. Good strength and good jumping, so we'll give him a chance at centre-back. Average wage of a player in the conference... I don't know, to be honest. Probably around about four or five hundred uh, pounds. Left back is a position that we really don't have that good uh, options in. Scott Griffiths apparently is the best, actually. They're decent stats. So we'll play him. And then in the midfield, I want to play Nathan Doyle at holding mid. And who else have we got? Luke Guttridge, actually, was going to be another one that I wanted to make sure was in the first team. Not the best of physical stats, but technically he's OK for that holding role. Nathan Doyle is obviously one of the best players at the club. Uh, who else have we got in here? Andy Drury. See, so yeah, Andy Drury is another player. That, but I could play him. I could play him further up. Or could I play Nathan Doyle further up? Now, see, Andy Drury's got to be in that starting lineup, hasn't he? We'll put Andy Drury in instead of. Oh, hang on. I'm I'm just torn as to who to put at Cam. That's the thing, right now. You could put. About Alex Lawless at Cam. Although, actually, there was a guy that played at Cam that was scoring goals in the league below or in the reserves, wasn't there? It may even have been this guy, Liam Kelly. Yeah, it was. He's on loan from Reading, but he's ineligible because, of course, it's a, a cup game. So we unfortunately can't play him in this one. But he probably will be my shoe in for Cam in a formation like this for the future. Uh, let's have a look. Nathan Doyle. Can he play at Cam? He can't. Ah, oh, see, I quite want to play him at Cam. He's just he's better than Luke Guttridge. He's easily better than Luke Guttridge, so we'll put Nathan Doyle in. And wide right. I see Luke Rooney's here as well at the club. He could play wide right, couldn't he? Oh, he's got pace but not really too good technically. Let's have a look. Pick player, wide right, who does it recommend? Denzel Slager and Sidney Schmeltz. So Denzel Slager, is he preferred right? Yes, they're decent stats. I'm not quite happy with that. And then preferred Cam. See, Liam Kelly would be my go-to. Uh, Gartridge, I could put him in there. He's not got the best of... No, he could be OK. Decent long shots at 11 as well. We'll give him a go. We'll give Luke a go at Cam. And out on the left-hand side, it recommends Sidney Schmeltz. And again, decent place, OK crossing, decent passing, so that'll do. And then up top, uh, I was going to go with Paul Benson, because he's the top goal scorer, and Liam Kelly will slit in, at, slit in or slot in at Cam ordinarily behind him once we get going. So on the bench, we'll have a goalkeeper. We can have seven subs, can't I? Can't I? So, uh, I've got a goalkeeper. I want. Oh, I can't put you in. Luke, they're too... In the starting lineup, so Kirtley Williams mm. seems distinctly average. Although he's got pace and good tackling, so he could be okay. Um, let's have a look. You're injured. Luke Rooney could go on the bench. I want another defender for the bench, ideally, but everybody's on loan and ineligible, which sucks. Could do with Solomon Tyro back from injury as well, actually. So, uh, unfortunately, what's Jake Howells like? He seems okay, so we'll put him on the bench as well. Um, Alex Lawless definitely on the bench. And then Ricky Miller was a player that was scoring goals at youth level, wasn't he? But not necessarily at this level. And you can see that uh, Lafayette has played some games at this level already this season and not necessarily scored. So I don't know what to do with my... Uh, other striker. He was a guy that I was looking at, wasn't he? In the youth. Yeah, eight goals in we'll give we'll give we'll give him a shout. We'll give him a go. I'd prefer to put Liam Kelly on the bench to be completely honest, but uh we'll do Ricky Miller as well. That will do. That will do yeah, go away. Go away. 
I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Now you've only selected 10 outfield players. What? Oh, I put Taldal on the bench, didn't I? I wanted to put... Well, I wanted to put Mark Tyler on the bench, not Taldal. There we go, that's better. GG, Chez. This is it, first game. First game in charge. Uh, this is on my PC, Alex. And Chani's in the chat. Hey, bro, you've kind of landed as I'm about to end the stream. This is going to be the only game we play. We are favourites for this one. Hmm. Hmm. We'll continue. They are playing that 4-3-3 four, four, three, three again. We've got two holding mids to cope with their three in midfield. And then hopefully our four up tops. So we are playing a little bit more uh, instructions. Are we apply advice to team? Good. And then overall team talk. I'll just give an overall team talk to start with. We'll stay calm. Um... I want them to go and show me what they can do. They're listening keenly, that's good. So we'll start the match then. Uh, you'll have to let me know if the audio level is too loud. I will quickly bring up OBS. Uh, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. You should be able to uh, to hear it perfectly fine. And then, hang on. Um, how do I want half and half? Pitch split. There we go. That's how I like to have it. Adam. Oh, how's that for a start? 26 minutes in, Parry scores his first goal of the season and we're 1-0 up at home against Morecambe in the FA Cup. That is perfect start for manager. That is a perfect start. Delighted with that. We'll see a replay. Lovely corner from Drury. Parry on the volley first time. That is fantastic and you guys are just seeing it now. See you, Niall. Thanks for joining, bro. I'm delighted with that. Just keep an eye on it. Andy Parry. He was a set he's a centre back, isn't he, I think, Andy Parry. We're gonna get to half time, hopefully, with uh, the scores as is. If the doll's taken off, should be able to take it off. That's good. I'm pleased with that. Nathan Doy said he's gonna be able to walk it off though, so it should be fine. Uh we would passionately say uh, I'm pleased with how things are going so far. Keep it up. And everybody seems happy with that, so that's good. And everybody seems to be playing quite well, so we'll do that and we'll continue. We had more of the possession, which is what we wanted with this formation and in the initial setup. We've had more shots. Although they, we've only had one on target from our six, which sucks. Another chance here, perhaps, if Schmelz can get the ball into the box. Decent cross, almost sneaking in at the back post there with a decent cross. If that had gone straight in, that would have been a real fluke. Uh, six shots, one on target, one off, apparently. We're too sure what that's all about. Uh, Morecambe on the attack, though. Is that going to go out? No, Beely will keep it in. That's a decent cross. Man at the back post. Please get this away. That's a terrible shot, but... Wow. That terrible shot set up their equaliser. The shot was so bad that it fell to another player, and we've equalised two minutes into the second half. That wasn't exactly what we wanted. Really wasn't what I wanted, to be completely honest, but... Never mind. <sighs> Decent finish. Decent finish. J. V. squaring it across. Right, come on, boys. We need to get back in this. Schmelz. We're going to play that forward. Guttridge will bring it down. That's a good ping. We've got good pace out wide, actually, with the two players we've got in this formation. So that's a good cross. Benson immediately back in front. Seconds, only seconds will we behind. That is a top finish as well. And a good cross by Slager on the far side. Yes, pleased with that. Really nice run down this right-hand side and whips in across and picks out Benson perfectly. And that is a ping and a half into the top corner. 2-1 in front. I will try and freshen some legs around about the hour mark, I think. They've got a free kick. Please don't. Oh, my daisies hit the bar. Morgan hit the bar. Let's have a look at make substitution. I'm going to have to take Andy Drury off because unfortunately he's starting to uh, to get a bit tired. Although he's playing well. Um, I do want to make the change. We'll bring Lawless on for uh, Andy Drury or Nathan Doyle. We'll bring Nathan Doyle off because Drury's playing better. 
and I'd, I'd ideally like to get a little bit further in front before I make any more changes. So another goal might be nice. Uh, we'll continue, confirm and give team talk. Uh, there's no pressure for you out there though, bro, so that should be fine. Make the substitution. Hopefully this can work, although more can we got the next highlight. It'd be nice if we could get this out. I've got, I've got it set to key highlights. We have cleared it. We are set to counter-attack with this particular formation, but Drummond and Kenyon linking up. Right, into De Witt. Please get a tackle in, boys. A bit of space outside for Beely. Good cross, good header, and it's 2-2. Two -two. That was a really well-worked goal, I'll give them that. A really well-worked goal. Too much space on that left-hand side, though. Or our left-hand side, their right-hand side. A bit disappointed with the left-back, although we have said that we do need a left-back, haven't we? So, it just kind of pulled us across. Great header from Ormond. Amond. That's disappointing. Back at 2 2. I'll make a change with 15 minutes to go. Schmelz is getting a little bit tired. I might bring Jake Howells on actually for Schmelz because I did like the look of Jake Howells. So we'll bring him on to go wide left. And oh, I'm still tempted by taking Andy Drury off, but we'll leave him for now. We'll leave him for now. Make the difference, bro. Go and win us, I don't want to say go and win us the game, but make a difference at least. 2-2. Two, two. Ten minutes to go. They're making changes as well. Quite nervous now. I really want to uh, I really want to get a win if we can. Yellow card for our centre-back. First yellow card of the game. They've got a free kick and a dying seconds. Oh, but the keeper's got their first and it's dropped free. No. 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 The goalkeeper should have held on to that free kick. We'll have a look at the replay. It was well placed in that top left-hand side, but oh, he should have held on to that, or at least got it safe, but it's just dropped in front of him. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's really bad goalkeeper, and at a vital time as well. Really disappointed with that, unless we can get a last-minute equaliser. Jury into Howells, goes down. They're taking their time back here. Ross with a big clearance. Going to hoof it back into the box, please. Not long left, only 30 seconds. Should be a defender's ball, good. Bring that down, good lad. Right, get the ball into the box. Go on, Jake. Good ball, Paul Benson, well cleared. Oh, man. Drury into Slager. That's a good ball forward. Oh, well cut out. Defender will get their first, and we've lost our first game in charge, unfortunately, thanks to that defensive mistake from the goalkeeper from the free kick. I'm disappointed with that. But I would say unlucky, because it just wasn't our day. You see they're looking frustrated, so we'll say unlucky, and they're all gaining confidence and motivation from that, so that's okay. We did play all right. The first half was definitely a lot better than the second. Disappointed to have lost, though, but at least now we can concentrate solely on the league. We can concentrate solely on the lead. We've got five emails. Uh, Cambridge went through 2-0 against Leamington. Chelsea won in the Premier League. Luton disappoint in disappointing collapse. Yeah. Wasn't the best, was it? Oh, well. Not to worry. Not to worry. Uh, I will uh, clear entire team selection because we'll have all of our loan players available now for, le for league games. Which the next one will be Tranmere. Uh, six unread messages. Okay. Uh, Jones is set to extend thingy. Okay, well, I think I think that's going to bring the stream to an end then because it is quarter to 11. But thank you for 5,000 followers. We have hit 5k followers, which is fantastic. We have maintained two to 300 viewers for the entirety of the stream as well, which is fantastic as well. Hopefully, the uh, both this and the FIFA streams can get some more uh, viewers over the next coming days and weeks and hopefully you have enjoyed if you have let me know on twitter i'll put my links in the chat for you so you can uh, hit me up if you want to go and follow me on twitter instagram and facebook and subscribe to the youtube channel if you don't already uh, i will save this how do i save now it should be here there we go save game so thank you very much for watching guys hopefully you have enjoyed and i should be streaming this again tomorrow and uh, we'll take it from there I'll kind of gauge the reaction I'll 
gauge reaction over time about what's more popular, FM or FIFA 15, and kind of do a mix of both. Obviously, I want to do both on this other channel, so on the Twitch channel. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I was going to say leave a like, but you can't because it's not a YouTube video. Although if you are watching this on the YouTube video, because it is actually going to go up as a YouTube video. So if you are watching this on YouTube, then uh, drop the video a like. Make sure you follow the Twitch channel to, uh, to make sure you don't miss out on any future streams. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch, thank you guys for coming along. And uh, I will see you in another stream tomorrow. Will either be FM or FIFA. As of yet, haven't decided, but... I will be streaming tomorrow night around about the same time, 8.45-ish uh, GMT. So definitely come over and uh, that will bring this one to an end. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.